It's always a good idea to add some comments to your code. Uh, comments are lines in your program that don't really uh, perform a function, so they don't change the way that the program operates, but they're there as labels and reminders of what the program does. And they're particularly useful because, particularly in a commercial context in the software industry, most applications are developed by teams of users. So it's important that you can quickly understand how a section of code created by somebody else operates. Um, but also, even if you're only working on your own, you might come back in a year or two's time and not really understand what you've done previously. So it's useful to put comments in your own code to explain how it works. Comments in Visual Basic um, are indicated by an apostrophe at the start of the line. So if you put an apostrophe at the start of the line, this is a comment. Um, in Visual Studio, the current version, that will appear in green. So you can see that it's a kind of non-functioning line in your program. Um, you can put in uh, other lines as well. So if I put in some other text, so if I say right line hello, just add some code to make it into a, a proper program. So uh, console. Um, so let's just say hello again. So this is a program, it's going to say hello and hello again. And really, um, I should say something like, you know, my first program. So this doesn't do a lot, so there's not really um, much I need to say about it. Um, but that's just an example. So if I run my program now, so Control F5, what we'll see is it will say hello. It'll say hello again. And then it says press any key to any key to continue. So that third line at the top isn't actually doing a thing. It's not affecting the way my program runs, but it's there as a kind of label or heading. So particularly with, a, you know, where I've used a complex um, data structure, I might want to label what it is, or whether I've used uh, I've used some uh, algorithm that's not immediately obvious uh, from the look of the code. I can just explain quickly how that works there. Using comments can also be quite useful to. Um, test your program. So if you're having a bit of uh, difficulty with your program and it's not working quite right, what you can do, rather than deleting lines of your code where you suspect there might be a problem, is just put a, an apostrophe at the start. That will turn that line of code into uh, a comment. And then when you want to get uh, reinstate it, all you need to do is delete the apostrophe. So that's much less kind of drastic than deleting sections of your code. So if I think that third line of my code might be causing a problem, what I can do is I can say, hmm, let's have a look at that. Yep, that's that first line, hello, that's working. So what about if we do it uh, the other way around? So you can kind of comment bits of your code in and out like this and try and track down the bit that's causing the problem. Yeah, so that line's working. So what about um, if I put them back together? Now, obviously, I haven't changed this because it was working in the first place, but you get the idea. So you can comment out bits of your program and see which bits are causing the problems. You can also add in extra bits of code to print values and uh, use other debugging techniques. Um, if you want to, there is an, an additional technique. So uh, lines, um, or, um, programming languages like Python have ways of creating kind of block um, comments, so triple quotes in Python, for example. Visual Basic doesn't have that. However, there is a, a combination of key presses that you can use to block out whole chunks of code. So if you highlight some code and you then do Control K and Control C, notice that it's uh, put an apostrophe at the start of every line for me, but it has just done that in the normal way. So if I want to reinstate any of those lines, I can just delete the apostrophe. So that's comments. Not a lot to say about those. They're just labels or headings for your code to remind you how it works and to let other people who might be editing your code know how it works.